Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on left ventricular hypertrophy. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi. I am emergency medicine consultant. Uh, for left ventricular hypertrophy, it is a condition in which there is increase in left ventricular mass, either due to increase in wall thickness itself or due to left ventricular cavity enlargement. Uh, mostly in increasing in left ventricular wall thickness is due to pressure overload and uh, dilatation of left ventricle or left ventricular cavity enlargement is due to volume overload. Many causes for left ventricular hypertrophy, uh, like hypertension, which is the most common cause, aortic stenosis, coarctation of aorta, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, all of these are pressure overload. Uh, aortic regurgitation, mitral regurgitation, ventricular septal defect, or dilated cardiomyopathy, all are example of volume overload. Also, athletic heart with physiological left ventricular hypertrophy can be seen, and infiltrative uh, process like amyloidosis or glycogen storage disease can cause left ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, diagnostic criteria for ECG, it's relatively insensitive for LVH because uh, ECG machine will measure electrical activity uh, produced by the heart, by electrodes placed on the surface of the skin. So it's difficult to predict the left ventricular mass. Echocardiogram is a, a gold standard or is a, a test of choice for diagnosis LVH. Uh, there is a lot of ECG criteria for diagnosing LVH, like voltage criteria and the non-voltage criteria. Uh, it, it should be, or it's best to see voltage criteria accompanied by non-voltage criteria to consider diagnosis of LVH. Uh, many uh, voltage criteria or many ECG criteria, like Corning voltage criteria, Cornell product, School of Leon index and Stromlet uh, point scoring system. Uh, most commonly used is School of Leon criteria, which is S wave in V1 plus R wave in V5 or V6 more than 35 millimeter. Uh, let's start with voltage criteria in limb leads. So we'll start with uh, R wave and lead AVL should be more than 11. Uh, millimeter or 11 small squares. Uh, also, S wave in lead AVR, S wave in lead AVR should be more than 14 millimeter or 14 small square. R wave in lead AVF, which is not here, should be more than 20 millimeter. And R wave in lead one plus S wave in lead three should be more than 25 millimeters. So here S wave is almost uh, 11 uh, uh, millimeter plus this R wave, which is more than 15 millimeter. This should be more than 25 millimeter. This is uh, voltage criteria in limb leads. Uh, as voltage criteria in precordial leads from V1 to V6, uh, R wave in V5 or V6, which is the tallest, plus S wave in V1 should be more than 35 millimeters. And this is, as we mentioned before, is a scale of Leon criteria. So if we counted here uh, uh, S wave, how many millimeters? So it will be uh, 5, 10, 15, 18 millimeter for the S wave in V2, plus uh, R wave in V5, uh, which is 10, 20, 30, and 18 plus 30 is more than, even more than 45 millimeters. R wave in uh, uh, V4 or V5 or V6 uh, uh, alone should be more than 26 millimeter. And as we mentioned before here, R wave in V5 more than 26 millimeter, it's around 35 or 33 millimeter. Also largest R wave, plus largest S wave in precordial leads more than 45 millimeters. This is a criteria for uh, LVH. So 
which one is uh, accurate, which one will predict more, more protection for LVH. Uh, of course, each criteria of this has its own sensitivity and its own specificity. And if there is more than one criteria, this is, is the best. Here, if, if we want to see voltage criteria, here in AVL more than 11 millimeter, uh, in AVF more than uh, uh, 14 millimeter, and here lead one alone is one, two, three, four, five, more than 20 millimeter. But here in lead three, it's not an S wave, it's an R wave. If you want to see uh, here in precordial leads, you will find V4, V5, and V6, of course, more than 26 millimeter. Of course, if you count it, V1 plus V5 or V6 will be more than 35 millimeter. This is for voltage criteria. Also, there is Cornell voltage criteria, uh, S wave in V3 plus R wave in uh, uh, L wave. So uh, S wave in V3 plus R wave in AVL should be more than 20 millimeter in female and more than 20 eight millimeter in males. If you counted R wave here, which is nine millimeter plus S wave here in V3, which is 20 millimeter, this is more than or more than 28 millimeters. Non-voltage criteria uh, increased R wave big time. As we mentioned before, R wave big, uh, uh, big time is calculated from uh, uh, beginning of the complex till the highest point of the complex. Uh, so this is, of course, will be more than 50 milliseconds in V5 or V6. Also, left ventricular restrain pattern, which is ST segmented depression and the T wave inversion in lateral leads, lead V5 and V6. Also, uh, this is the definition of R wave big time. Uh, Additional ECG criteria like left uh, atrial enlargement, left axis deviation, ST elevation in right precordial leads V1 to V3, which is discordant to deep S wave. And of course, prominent U wave, which is proportional uh, to increased QRS amplitude. This is a point uh, scoring system, it's the Romlet point scoring system, which depends on many criteria. And if you have, uh, for example, a limb R wave or S wave more than 20 millimeter, will take uh, three points. Or if you uh, see S wave in V1 or S wave in V2 more than 30 millimeter, also will take uh, 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 three points. So for each criteria, we'll give uh, th points three or one or two. Here, for example, ST and T wave it changes. Typical of LVH, we mean by ST and T wave and changes the uh, stream pattern in V4, V5, V6. If the patient is taking digitalis, this is uh, one point. If he is not taking digitalis, this is three points. If there is left atrial hypertrophy criteria, this will take three points. Left axis deviation will take two points. QRS duration, uh, wide QRS more than 90 milliseconds. This will take one point and uh, peak R wave more than 50 milliseconds. This will take one point. And if you have total, if you calculated total score and the score is uh, five or more, this is definitive LVH. If score four, this is probable LVH. Again, this is an ECG with criteria for LVH. So you have here S wave in lead V1 plus S, uh, R wave in V6 more than 35 millimeter, R wave in EVL is more than 11 millimeter, and uh, LV, uh, left ventricular stream pattern in V5 and V6 by ST uh, depression and T wave inversion, and uh, S, uh, R wave, sorry, R wave peak time uh, here, R wave peak time is increased more than 50 milliseconds uh, uh, with minor QRS. Widening. Again, uh, S wave, if you calculated S wave in V2 plus uh, V5 will be more than 45 millimeter. And R wave peak time is uh, increased with widening of the QRS complex. LV uh, stream pattern 
left ventricular stream pattern here is the segment depression, T wave inversion, and is the elevation and uh, uh, T wave uh, positive in lead, uh, uh, sorry, in lead V1 and V2 and V3 here. You will find ST elevation, minor ST elevation with T wave positive. And of course, you will have left axis deviation if you uh, calculated the axis from lead one and lead EVF. Same criteria. Thank you so much and see you in next video uh, uh, for ECG course.